typhoid fever is quite rare in the industrialized nations, but it remains an endemic problem in most developing countries due to contaminated and unsafe food and drinking water, as well as poor sewage disposal management. The salmonella typhi, the culprit bacteria in this fecal oral infection, as the bacteria is found in feces, which is ingested through food and water, has more than 2,000 serotypes. It is very common in Nigeria because of our hygienic problem, because here people just urinate, pass feces anywhere, and the rain will carry this. Public health specialists have expressed concerns about the habit of eating in outlets, popularly called bucateria, and wonder how prepared the various ministries of health are to tackle the hygiene level of food vendors, especially since the 111-year-old Weidel test, said to be only 25% accurate, is being rejected. The Directorate of Occupational Health and Safety that we have in the Ministry of Health now, that is one of its main priorities is to make sure that at the primary level, that the people that are feeding us, the people that are handling our food, and that goes all the way from abattoirs to the person that is selling rice at the side of the road, that they do so having undergone some sort of preliminary training. Anyone diagnosed with typhoid fever, which can perforate the intestines if untreated, is advised to seek a second opinion, as chlorophenical has been delisted by WHO because of suspicions that it could cause leukemia. With 17 million new cases of typhoid fever every year, the president of the Global Council on Water Diseases, who is also a professor of medicine at Harvard Medical School in the United States of America, has invented the typhoid check kit. We came up with this typhoid check, which literally what it does is that it looks for the antigen or the bacterium, which is salmonella typhi, from the stool. Again, if you look at the biology and also the transmission of these organisms, it goes from what? Everything is ingested. You ingest either contaminated water, contaminated food, and everything. And it gets into the stomach. The socio-economic impact of typhoid fever cannot be quantified as there are many healthy carriers who distribute the bacteria unknowingly.